Hey guys, it's been kind of a while since my last science video, but that doesn't mean I'm giving up. I want to thank you guys for the immense support in the previous videos, and that is one of the biggest reasons of why I continue making these. However, these scientific breakdowns can get quite interesting. Because this time the gun I'll be analyzing is the Mark III, which is fun. So without any more introduction, let's actually get into the physics of this gun. For those of you who are new to the concept of the ray gun, the Mark III is the third ray gun in the series. Also, don't think that both of the guns count as Mark III. The Mark III is the one on the right and the GKZ-45 is the one on the left. It's the sister gun of the Mark III. The basic concept of the gun is that it creates a black hole. The GKZ fires some kind of a yellow sphere, while the Mark III fires green lasers. These weapons are kind of useless by themselves, but when you combine their ammunition, it creates a black hole. Right now, some of you may be thinking that this is entirely impossible, it won't happen in real life, and blah 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 blah. There is only one way to see if these guns would work in real life, and that is to apply the real life physics to them. This means it's time for science lesson number one. So the best way to approach the situation is to see how black holes come to be in real life. Usually a black hole is formed when a lot of matter is squeezed into a very very tiny space, which as a result leads to an increase in density. Once it reaches a certain density, its gravitational forces on the surface become incredibly strong that nothing that we know of can escape it. Not even light, and that's the fastest thing in existence. Which is what gives the black hole its name. It's not really a hole or black, it just leads to an absence of light, which is what we perceive as the color of black. Currently, the only way a black hole can be made naturally is from the collapse of a very large star. But how do we make a black hole from two small guns? Einstein's equations, that's how. About a hundred years ago, a young man called Einstein came up with a few ideas and theories. And as probably everyone knows, he came up with the famous equation E equals mc squared. In layman's terms, E equals mc squared means the energy stored in something is equal to its mass times the speed of light squared. It also means that matter and energy are kind of the same thing, but not exactly. This means that because gravity affects matter, it will also affect energy. The way we know this is true is because we see a light being curved around the black hole and around very heavy objects, like the sun. This effect is called gravitational lensing and we can kind of see behind the sun with it. So logically you can make a black hole from only energy. This includes energy in the form of light. Theoretical physicists have a term for this and it's called a Kugelblitz, which is basically a German word for ball of lightning. Okay, so right now you're probably wondering, if this is true then how come when I turn on my lights, my house doesn't just get sucked into a black hole? Well, the answer to that is because to make a Kugel Blitz you need a, a lot of light. Something we can't perform yet with current technology, but perhaps imaginary guns like the Mark III from the future can. We will soon come to the calculations of how much energy is needed to make this black hole, but for this next part I want to point out some very neat tricks that Treyarch played. As you can see as demonstrated on screen, the yellow balls shot from the GKZ slowed zombies down. Believe it or not, this effect actually happens in real life. On Earth, this effect kind of messes with our GPS satellites because we on Earth are much closer to the center of gravity than the GPS satellites, so they experience slightly faster time. So basically, to the satellites orbiting Earth, humans are in slow motion. This effect is extremely magnified next to a black hole because of how strong its gravity is. This effect is called time dilation, and a movie where it's represented really good in is Interstellar. In the movie Interstellar, there is a solar system which consists of a black hole in the middle eating a sun. In the low orbit next to this black hole is a planet which experiences time dilation to an extreme. One hour on this planet is about seven years on Earth. So if you want to time travel into the future, just go next to a black hole. But be careful not to pass the event horizon. On another note, speaking of black holes devouring suns, the way that the zombies get eaten by the black hole is rather realistic. In real life, when a black hole is devouring a star, it strips away its mass and turns it into a disk. Whatever gets inside the black hole stays inside the black hole, but whatever doesn't contributes to this disk. This disk is called the accretion disk and just consists of matter really warmed up by friction and tidal forces that it glows. So inside the game, the zombies are the star of this black hole. The zombies appear to fade away, but in reality they become a cloud of atoms. 
these atoms now get pulled into an accretion disk around the black hole, getting heated up. This heat heats it up so much that it shines a bright purple. This actually is theoretically what would basically happen in real life. Only with one slight problem, is that the black hole only eats zombies. If it were in real life, the black hole starts consuming the whole room, then after that start consuming most of the planet, eventually turning whatever remains into an accretion disk. But I'm gonna let Treyarch go off on that one, because if that happened, we wouldn't really be able to play zombies, really, or it wouldn't be really much fun either. So good job Treyarch. However guys, don't leave just yet, because here comes my favorite part of the video, the calculations. To do the calculations, we're going to need another formula, which is the Schwarzschild radius formula. The Schwarzschild radius allows us to see how big in radius a black hole would be, given a certain amount of mass. Its main application is to see how big and heavy a star would have to be for it to be turned into a black hole. But you could also apply it to other things. For example, if I wanted to make a human become a black hole, I'll have to squish them to a ball with a radius of 1.04 times 10 to the minus 25 meters. That's 8 billion times smaller than a proton, which is an unimaginably small amount of space. So back to the task at hand. We don't really have a mass available like in a number, so we can't guess the mass of the black hole. But we can guess the size of it. And by looking at the game, because there is no in-game sort of ruler, I'm gonna estimate that the radius of the black hole is about 1 centimeter. Now that we have a value for the centimeter, we're gonna need to use the equations e equals mc squared and r equals 2gm over c squared. The combined equation is radius times the speed of light to the power of 4 over 2 times the gravitational constant. This gives us the value of energy, the amount of energy needed for this black hole to exist. That is 6.05 times 10 to the power of 41 joules which is equal to about the same amount of energy that the sun would put out over 50 million years. So to make sense of all this information, let's just say that 90% of all this energy is inside the yellow cloud that the GKZ shoots. Not enough energy to make it a black hole just yet, but enough energy to slow down the zombies and create a noticeable time dilation effect. The other 10% however, will be inside the Mark III shot. And once this Mark III shot comes in contact with the yellow ball, boom, black hole. If you guys found this relatively entertaining and would like to find out more about the Mark III and how I came to this conclusion, I'll leave a link in the description uh, with like a whole analysis on paper. If you have any questions which I haven't answered in this video, ask in the comments, the future me would not mind answering, I promise you. However guys, if you enjoyed this and want to see more, click on one of the two videos on screen that will take you to the science breakdown of that weapon. And also, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I'll be making more in the future. If you guys want me to do a breakdown of a specific gun, just say so in the comments because I might just end up doing it. But anyways, goodbye and have a nice day.